Hey everyone, let's talk about Bona's new product introduction, Bona Traffic Go. The great thing about this product is it's another Bona waterborne finish. Uh, innovative, yes, but if you're already used to putting down water-based products, in particular Bona's products, then you can expect all the great same results out of Bona Traffic Go that you've gotten out of Bona Traffic HD, Mega, Mega One, Domo, products like that. Um, but we've made it even easier because there is no external hardener. You don't have any mixing. There's no pot life to worry about. Really, you just shake and go and get started on having uh, beautiful results on all your jobs. You're also going to notice that in between coats, it's got excellent abrasion characteristics and a great build. Again, having that traffic type application rate of 350 to 400 square feet per gallon easiest to achieve when we're putting it on with the roller uh, or using fingertip uh, pressure if you're using the t-bar super important to get that that nice heavy application so you've got two to three hours dry time between coats and then the question comes up of do i need to abrade it and that's all going to depend on how did that last application go uh, did, is everything flow level to foam uh, so you've got a nice smooth coat. Did you get a little debris, some dust? Maybe you got some foam or some bubbles somewhere for whatever reason. So there's always a difference between abrading for smoothness versus abrading for adhesion. For adhesion, there's no need to abrade Bona Traffic Go before you put on the next coat unless more than 48 hours have passed since your previous coat. Then we're typically going to hit it just with a Bona conditioning pad vacuum it, tack it, put on the next coat. If we need to abrade it for smoothness, as with any of our other products, then we're probably going to hit it with a Bona conditioning pad with either Bona Diamonds or the Bona Nets on there. Those grits range anywhere from 180 to 220 to 240. Get everything smoothed off, again vacuum it, tack it, and then go ahead and get our next coat of Traffic Go applied. But otherwise, if everything's good to go, there's no reason to abrade it for smoothness or adhesion between coats. So if you keep the job nice and clean, keep the floor clean, put on a nice coat, control your environmental conditions, you should have a nice smooth coat that doesn't need to be touched. Uh, maybe just a residual tacking to get any extra dust off there that fell since your last coat. Put on that next great coat. And remember, after that last coat that you've put on, in three days, you'll have a nice full cure, so full activity on that from the floor owners, and no pot life to worry about this. So that last coat goes on, you put the cap on, put it back in, in your truck or van, and away you go. Some other features about this, again, clear and colorless, non-yellowing, and you've got those three sheen levels to work with. You've got commercial satin, commercial semi-gloss, and commercial extra matte. And cleanup, of course, being a bone of waterborne finish is with water. So your applicators, tools, anything else, water cleanup, make it easy, get ready to go for the next job. All right, so that's all we have for best usage, best practices, tips and tricks on how to be successful putting down bone of traffic go. You can see it's going to be like any water base you've put down before. Roll it, T-bar it, control your environmental conditions, uh, get, hit that application rate, let it flow level into foam, and you'll have some beautiful floors with Bona Traffic Go.